Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. Uh, today I'd like to have a quick roundup of the USE Minis and how they unfolded yesterday, which was on Wednesday, uh, January the 25th. Um, as usual, for the more advanced traders among us, I'd like to start by reviewing the 15 minute charts to get the large degree trend for the day. Um, here on the NQ, there was no real DP supporter of resistance, so it was um, not clear at all. On the Russell Index, market was going up, so uh, there was a potential high here, but after that, the market kept on going up, so not much there. However, on the ES, we actually had this DP support off the uh, prior pivot here, which then sent the markets up, and in fact, actually, they went up, if I zoom out a bit, they went up right to the DP from the prior major pivot. They went straight through. This would have been the first DP target here. <clears throat> and they went straight through this minor one. Straight through this minor one, went to the larger one. But the point being to start with is early in the day we had DP support around here. Then the marker I really want to have a look at was the uh, 15 minutes YM if I zoom out because we had DP support here this was after the initial decline early in the day the reason I'm looking at this is because when we come to the three minute charts I want to see what happened about here okay at about 12 o'clock <clears throat> 12 15 so at this point in time here at about 12 o'clock you can see that we would had a rally up off 15 minute support and at the very least the market was due to rally up to this DP here if not even higher up to this DP here but the point being is that we had 15 minute support and we had an initial rally of that 15 minute support now all the guys um, who are all you guys who are listening to this will now see that I'm setting up for a potential holy grail trade setup because we had larger degree support we had an initial rally off that support therefore when we come down to the shorter term charts let's see whether there were any ABC corrections so on the ES is not the market I really want to look for but there was an ABC correction as you can see here ABC before the market went up but the market I really want to look at was the YM and you'll see why. If I look at the STF, you can see we had a TS3 buy setup here. If I scroll back, it was a lovely buy setup. <clears throat> a lovely buy setup to zoom in a bit. However, it was against a red STF. But because of the 15 minute support, and that's what came in here, the advanced trades among you could say actually it was. Oops, sorry, that did the wrong one. You can say it was actually a initial rally up, <clears throat> then an ABC correction down. What uh, what we look at is then that this ABC correction here, if I put the analysis on, is not a um, is not going to the first target. It's because we assume this is a wave two because we're assuming the first rally up here is a wave one it's a wave two here therefore we're looking for at least the typical wave three which is our third target here so if I put the um, analysis on so here you can see I've put uh, the risk reward on um, the chart here but using the typical wave 3 WPT. Remember you can do this before the chart even gets there or the market gets there. So you can actually do this at the initial trade entry. There's the initial trade entry and you can see there's our targets in advance. So you can just adjust this by taking it up to the typical wave 3 WPT. Therefore you could instantly see that this trade setup is uh, a potential 8.3 risk to reward. Now what that means is the potential profit at uh, just over $3,300 is just over eight times the initial risk. Do you remember we use position sizing here to adjust the number of lots, contracts or shares to keep our initial risk small. Then it also keeps our profits directly in line with our um, risks and losses. But as you can see, going to the typical Wave 3 WPT represents a very good trade. Market moves forward, market comes up 
and actually hits this first target. However, if we now go down, we can look at the uh, STF. Now, the STF here is what we call strong because it's gone beyond the strength barrier. When that happens, we assume the market is indeed strong and is going to rally further. So, therefore, we use our ATR stop, which is our blue dots here, to look to run this trade further. And you can see after the market comes down and makes an initial correction, goes up and up and up and up. Here's the ATR stop, blue, 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 holding you in, holding you in, holding you in, and then would have actually stopped you out about here. So if I put the risk reward on now, you'd have been stopped out about there for well an absolutely massive 12.7 R profit. So yes, this trade here would have turned an initial risk of approximately four hundred dollars into a profit of approximately five thousand. So a very, very good trade. And this again shows how good uh, the Holy Grail trade setups are because we're looking to come off a of wave two. We're then looking to trade a wave three, and Elliott wave terms, the wave three is the strongest and longest wave in any completed Elliott wave sequence. So that's why these trades represent the largest potential profit for the smallest initial risk. So again, I want to just go over this just to show you why this is a holy grail trade setup, and there are other videos showing this um, as well. But the initial thing we look for is larger degree support. So here you can see on the 15 minute ES, there was support after the initial decline of the day, but in <clears throat> particular on the YM, because that's the market we were looking to trade, here we have 15 minute support. Remember, this was on the chart before the market even opened. So before the market opened, you had this support zone on the chart. So when it came down into here, you were aware that the 15 minute chart was giving you support. We then had the initial rally up, which was here, initial correction down. This point in time here was our TS3 set up on the three minute chart. So I'll go to the YM chart, which is this one. So we look at major support, initial rally off that major support being a, a wave one. We then look for the initial correction to unfold as an ABC. We assume that's a wave two. We then look for a, at least a strong wave three into at least the typical wave three WPT, uh, which was here. We then use the STF. STF was strong. We then use the ATR to run it up and even though the market did go a little bit higher uh, later on in the day we came out here for a very very nice 12.7 hour profit so actually yesterday turned out to be a very very good day indeed on the US uh, e-minis particularly with this TS3 buy setup on the YM that actually unfolded as our holy grail trade setup